Hello guys, what's up? I know, it's been like a long while yeah. since we put up a video, but... And I know all five of you are very disappointed. Yeah. Welcome to Ask FM. The triumphant return that we'll probably not do again for a while. Yeah. What personality type out of the 16... Uh, what personality type are you? out of the 16 personalities. Well, um, I am actually 15 of those 16, so I don't think I can answer that. Sid, what about you? I'm pretty sure I categorize as like maybe four or five out of the 16, because like I'm all over the place. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make me crazy. Or does it? Well, they say, uh, crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's how I know I'm not crazy. Oh, by the way, people, this is a brand new camera. Hell yeah. Which city would you choose as capital of the world? Bangkok. Colorado. Springs. Because, uh, what was it? The weed capital of the world? Other than the Canada? Colorado Springs is the weed capital? Or Colorado in general, or something. Well, that's not a city, though. Colorado's a state. Uh huh. Colorado Springs. You know what? Vancouver. Vancouver? Yeah. No, wait, wait. Canadians wait. rule the world. Amsterdam. Vancouver is in Canada, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I agree actually. Amsterdam, you got a red light district on every corner. Amsterdam, New World Order, man. What is something that has changed you so much? Um, time. You know, I used to be so young and beautiful, now look at me, I'm old and decrepit. COVID 19. Screw this pandemic. Man, what has this changed about you? You never went anywhere anyway. I liked a few places. <laughs> I liked going out a little bit. Yeah. Look, old. okay, I... You don't know how bad it is, okay? Like, me, I am a hugger, okay? And now you can't hug people. And now I can't fucking hug people. You know how hard that is? No, I'm afraid I don't. I'm over my hugging phase. People don't deserve my hugs. I get. I, I, just, I just love giving love to people. Whether that be through hugs or handshakes. Yeah. That's that's the person who I am, man. See, that's why that's why we're friends. We're in contrast. You're a lover. I'm a hater. I hate everybody. Equally. Yeah. Oh, so it's not racist then. Yeah. I mean, technically that makes me the most racist because I just hate everyone. What do you think about open <clears throat> relationships and could you handle that? If it was a poly... Yeah, poly. I, feel like, I feel like if I was bisexual or pansexual and I was in a poly relationship I could, but not just like the whole swinger thing. <laughs> yeah. Same here. That, that, that'd just be too weird for me. I'd be like, Was it dick bigger? Huh? Huh? And then shove my fist up her pussy. Is it bigger now, bitch? Was it smaller? Oh, but I bet his I bet his rhythm was better, huh? Well, hey, how's this rhythm, bitch? What has been your greatest discovery on the web? Oh, I thought you were going to answer first. Oh, um... Well, I, I think my discover greatest discovery on the web is uh, just porn. I mean, what else is there? Anime. Yeah, hentai. That's porn. Oh, and like D&D &D stuff. They have that on the web? Yeah. Man, I thought the web was just porn. Have, like, have you not heard of cosplay and role playing, bro? Yeah. In, in the form of porn, yeah. There's some really sexy elves out there, man. <laughs> like, 
years ago, someone, you know, this podcast I watched, they had like this kind of beef with this other guy, and this one dude was like, congratulations, you won the internet, and he said, all right, I won the internet, from now on, all Google searches will result in porn, no matter what you type in, on. and I just thought to myself, <laughs> wait, they don't already do that? Actually, the greatest discovery for me, finding a whole bunch of website that like sells D&D dice. I'm addicted. Clickety-clacky mathy rocks. Mm -hmm. You know, I really wish I could go back and invest in Bitcoin. So I remember back when I was in high school, like when Bitcoin first came out, this guy was telling me about it and I just thought it was some kind of weird pyramid scheme. It's like, you know, if I had bought like $10 worth I'd be filthy rich now. Your song of the day. A thousand miles. I would walk. Wait, no, that's not a thousand. A thousand miles by Vanessa Carlton. I don't know, uh. Firing Squad by Sorak, I guess. Nice. Who was the last person to whom you gave a gift? That would be, uh, my nephew. A gift, I would say my sister. Would you rather have no eyebrows or no eyelashes? <laughs> no eyebrows. I think you need your eyelashes. Not me, man. I, I would just shave my eyelashes off and put fake eyelashes on that come out to like here. You know? And if <laughs> anybody said something, I'd stab them with my eyelashes. What do you think about recycling? Everybody should recycle. No, oh man, see, that's a government conspiracy. They're using the cans to build the secret underground <clears throat> bunker. That's how, that's how they keep Area 51 all nice and updated. They recycle all that. And that's why we can't expose Area 51. They don't want us clapping them alien cheeks. And that's what recycling does. It keeps us out of there. They just reuse you know, all that. Because aluminum cans, aluminum, you know, it, it keeps the alien brain waves. Everything kind of went downhill after we raided Area 51. Yeah. We had that Area 51 hangout. Bam. New virus pops up. It's the aliens, man. They bought it here, man. They escaped, man. Also, the CGI making of cats. The world's like, hell nah. When... Is the last time you experienced nostalgia? Um, I'm a 90s baby, so like every day. Right. What's the scariest dream you've ever had? Scariest? I don't remember, but there was this messed up dream a few days ago. The scariest dream? I don't know, but one messed up dream, it was a few days ago, and a group of black people were ghost hunting, and they went to supposed abandoned KKK tunnels. And there was the entrance, and then there was a left entrance and a right entrance. The middle entrance, there was a bunch of nooses hanging there. And, like, some of the nooses that were, like, just slightly hung over the rafters. And one of the black dudes, they, he was trying to break tension. He's like, hey, dude, ain't that your wife down there? Dude, shut up. The nooses in the middle, they started freaking out. Like, they came off the rafters and started swinging back and forth almost violently and then to the left entrance you could hear something that dropped somebody looked at the left entrance okay we all looked at the left entrance and there was a severed head that was on the noose swinging I screamed everybody else screamed that's when I woke up so, I don't know if this is the scariest one I've had, but this is some, like, a reoccurring dream I've had. I've had it, like, three times in my life. And my dad and I were abducted by aliens. And the first time I had this dream, I was a little kid, and 
were trying to escape, and he's like carrying me, and some aliens come out of a door, and they grab me, and like, we're on like the escape pad, and so like, they grab me, and he gets shot back down to earth, and so he escaped, and I didn't, and yeah, that's when I woke up. Years later, um, probably was like 12, I had the same dream except my dad's not carrying me. And then a couple of years ago, same dream except they capture my dad this time instead of me. That's weird. Yeah. Reoccurring, you say? Yeah. I should probably see a psychiatrist about that dream. I should see a psychiatrist <laughs> by remembering my dreams. <laughs> should should I say the the, <laughs> the not so creepy dream I had? Yes. <laughs> All right. This is not creepy or scary. It's actually more humorous. I had a dream him recently, and it was an it was a racist anti porn ad, and it I was watching. I'm thinking I was watching YouTube in my dream, maybe it was Hulu, I don't know. And this ad comes up, and it says, Our women do so much for us, and how do we repay them? By violating ourselves to images of nubile ethnic women on the internet. And it's just like this... And then I woke up, it was like... Okay, I can understand my brain telling me I watch too much porn, but why 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 was this talking about ethnic women? <laughs> like KKK got some kind of dream beam they're streaming to people, like don't watch uh don't watch porn and especially don't watch porn of women of color. Alright, next question. What's the weirdest thought you've ever had? I've had too many to answer that question. Drink baby blood. It'll keep you young forever. That's what the people in Hollywood do. Yeah. That's why That's why they all look so young years later. Definitely not because of uh, being able to afford uh, really good healthy food and personal trainers or anything like that. And having gay guys work on their makeup for like two hours. Now we're being targeted. <laughs> <laughs> what is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word fidget? Spinner? Yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing. Fidget spinner. What made up word would you incorporate into the language if you could? Vestizio. Vestizio? I mean it's in it's in uh the urban dictionary, so I don't know if that counts, but yeah. I would definitely put that in the real dictionary, too. Maybe womp. Womp. Or womps. I like this womps. Shway. Shway? That's way shway, bro. Oh, what about twiz? Twiz? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah. Would you swallow an alien spider? For alien knowledge. The spider does not kill you. It has a symbiotic relationship with you. What kind of spider are we talking? Like, what does it look like? I know it's an alien spider, but, like, is it comparable to any earthly spiders? It kind of looks like a tarantula, but a little smaller. A little smaller? That's still fucking huge, so I'm gonna say no. Yeah. But you get alien knowledge. I don't know, man, because you have to swallow it. You don't just cook it and eat it. You, you're swallowing it. And it's like that anime parasite where it's just symbiotic with you, you know? So, no, I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could do it either. But uh, what about a chip implanted behind your ear that allows you... It's, it's an automatic translator. They'll be speaking in their tongue, but you hear English. Or, oh, yeah. would you have the uh, special glasses that uh, create subtitles in thin air? Uh, I'd go with the ear translator. Yeah, I would too. But I'm 
I'm kind of 50-50 on that, because, uh, the glasses won't be in my head, so. Right. It'd just be easier to go with the chip, I think. Mm. Are you as sensitive as you were in high school? Mm, I mean, no. do you still what? Do you still care so. what people think about you? I mean, yeah, to a lesser extent. I mean, I suppose I care about like what my friends think about me, and but as as far as like high school extent. Goes. Oh no, no. Like oh no, uh, I had to fit in. I don't really care about that, no. You know, I used to always say, like, if I became a big shot, I'd totally go to the high school reunion just to rub it in people's faces, but, like, what's even the point of that? There's a bunch of people I don't give a fuck about who don't give a fuck about me. That's a waste of energy. And besides, we already see all that stuff on Facebook. You just said a minute ago, it's a bunch of people I don't give a fuck about who don't give a fuck about me. All the people from high school that I actually care about, I'm still in touch with. <sighs> what animal would you want to be reincarnated as? Well, if assuming it was adopted by a member of my family, a dog. Otherwise, probably just wolf. Which is basically the same thing, but cooler. Tortoise. I could live for 150 years and that would still be considered young. Mm-hmm. What superpower do you wish you had? Control over microgravity. I say microgravity because, like, it'll only be a certain feet, like, a certain distance around me. Right. Not the entire fucking, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was gonna ask what do you mean by that, but yeah, okay. Um, I'd go with, like, Wolverine or Deadpool's recovery. Then I'd never have to worry about getting injured. Like, oh, my arm got crushed at work. Um, I guess I'll just kind of not do anything about it. Mm. And, like, since I control microgravity, I can put it anywhere I want. Not just around me. That'd be dope. So, uh, school shooter? <laughs> Gravity. Yeah. See, with Wolverine recovery, someone shot me. I'd wake up a few hours later. What did you say as a kid when asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Firefighter, so I can run people over and get money. <laughs> uh, let's see, as a little, little kid, I think I just wanted to be a ninja. And got a little older. I think I wanted to be a firefighter or a pilot or a scientist.